Hi, welcome to a CHGS video. Uh, my name's Daniel, I'm the marketing manager for Christopher Hall. Um, today's video is a little bit different. Uh, we're going to actually take a look at my uh, first introduction to climbing. Uh, I'm not from an industry background. Um, uh, I'm a complete novice, I know nothing. I have been up a tree twice, uh, but that was with the assistance of the teams when I was out on site with them. So this afternoon, we are at the old CHTS berm pile uh, at the back of Exbury Gardens uh, down in the New Forest. Uh, my trainer will be Trevor Lawrence. He's worked at CHTS for many years now, many years experience in the industry, and he himself is actually training to become an assessor. So probably the best man for the job. But before he gets here, I'm going to do my prep, check my bag and make sure everything that is on my uh, Lola is in the bag and uh, safe to use. So thanks for watching. So when I was issued my climbing kit I was also issued a Lola sheet uh, so I can check that all of my equipment is in good working order each time I go out and use it. Um, I don't know how well this will come out on the camera. Uh, here's, here's an example of what we use at CHTS. It's just a simple uh, checklist with all the equipment that's supposed to be in my bag and also all the serial numbers and IDs. Uh, so before I start and start prepping, I'm just going to check through that everything that is on this list is here. Now, I was issued a set of spikes, we won't be using those today because we're climbing live tree. Uh, my rope with my prussic line on from last time I climbed. Um, I'll check that uh, when we get ready to go up the tree. I'll just uh, give it a quick feel all over, make sure that it feels nice and smooth. Everything works fine. Um, going through the rest of my kit, I've got my cambion saver. Uh, I'll check the rings and all the stitching just to make sure that that's all fine. Um, I should have, uh, I think it's six, six uh, carabiners and I can double check the serial number with the carabiner uh, on here. I've got one, two, three, four, five and six already on my line so I know they're all there. Um, I've got my harness uh, with my first aid kit, very important not to forget your first aid kit when you're out on site. Uh, I've got a spare prussic. Um, I've also got a sling that was issued uh, that could be very useful for aerial rescue and also my slat line and again the same as the rope I'll just give that a quick check before we start uh, so everything looks fine and all here so good to get going that's better yeah that's much nicer go away bumblebee So if I just stop here quickly, this is the line under tension, just showing you what Prussic's doing with my weight on it, as long as that line's there like that, all my weight not holding me, just all on the ropes, nice and safe, nice and controlled.
football training the night before is not the one. <laughs> Alright, so to try and explain a little bit more what I'm doing, because the camera's probably not picking it all up. When you're using a prospect to get up, aim, get your tree, uh, get your feet on the trees, probably quite level with yourself. Use your left hand under the prusset. Use your right hand to pull the rope. Now, it's not a great technique. Using I am wrapping. Not as I said, I'm not from the industry. I'm not quite as strong as our guys that do it daily. And then the motion is thrust up with your hips whilst you pull with your right, and then hold it in place and push you press it not up to lock you in X position. Like so. We're at the first set of branches, just waiting for Trev to move up to the next section before I progress. It's a general rule of thumb. You shouldn't really be standing on anything that's smaller than your wrist, Trev. Yeah, yeah, general rule of thumb. Oh, the, uh... Obviously it's worth taking a look at. You wouldn't want to be treading on dead wood like that. Um, just check your unions. Check the bark. This is bird nest, yeah. Yeah, I've got this bit of dead wood here. Probably a few insects in there. No big big wildlife. Alright. Rolling around this one, yeah, Trev? Yeah, or the one in front that your left hand's on. Yeah. Okay. So, install my flip line, hopefully. A little bit more. So, I'm lining still there, just tighten that up a little bit. Too much it. Got 
buddy. A good buddy. Uh, if you could, Trev, that'd be beautiful. Makes my life easier. Yeah. That's what it's about. There's a lot of grunt work and tree climbing. With all the mechanical aids, it's being made slightly easier, but you still good to know the basics, good to know the old techniques, especially the prussic technique, because if all else fails and you're in the tree with just your line, there is a technique that I will review later where you can press it down off of your own line, using your line as the press it. So, uh, Trevor, be so kind. Uh, uh. Obviously here I'm going to install this for Dan, so he's got an easier climb. So I'm not going to install it in the same anchor point as yourself. There's two, two loads of weight on that one anchor. Yeah. With a cause of branch to clear up. Gonna choose a separate anchor to know the dam stand up into it and get top anchor separately. It's a little bit more trip. Oh good flick. Thanks. Is that right that way, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so you're going Yeah. It's not too bad. Um, you lean back, feet on it back, take the slack up a bit, and it's literally going again. I would grab both bits of rope together. Go up. To the right, yeah, grab round that. Yep. So good old pull up. As soon as you get up, just spin around and sit on the branch. On this one. Up on there, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Again, in one. Obviously, you've got quite a bit of slack, so as soon as you're there, it's always slack up. Stand up again, put it back in there, Grab up, that's it. Lovely. So, we're basically at the top of the crown now. Um, again, we're selecting our new anchor. Looking for weak unions. You know, something probably about as thick as your wrist. Bit of dead wood up here we've got to look out for. Yeah. We've got to think about it for installing the cambium saver. Is it gonna pull out nicely? Yeah. It's not gonna catch up on anything, so we can take time with a silky saw just to clean out any dead bits that's gonna you know, and you wanna be selecting a anchor point that enables you to move around the tree as freely as possible without too many moves. Yeah. And um, depending where you're gonna work without redirecting too much. Yeah, it's a fairly big spread on this crown, you yeah. probably have to you probably, I mean, unless you were doing a crown reduction here, which was, you know, your purposes. Yeah. Coming, here's a good good point. Yeah. Um, you're not going to gain much by going another sort of metre higher, really, at no. this angle. You know, you could push up again. That'd probably be about the minimum up, up there. Yeah. On that branch that we could tie into, that would hold your weight. Um, yeah. So if you want to select a. I do like this one, it's nice and shallow. Yeah, we've had a look in there to fill round. Yeah. Had a look round the back of the tree. A bit of marks and that, but. Got a bit of an old branch here, look, it's dead. Yeah. It's been cut off, but it's healing over nicely. There's no other sign of sort of decay around the back here. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty strong. So, sometimes, it's worth having a good look at the lateral branches, because if you tie around here and that breaks off, you've got nowhere to go. Yeah? Yeah. Whereas 
perhaps if you further up and a lateral branch die, broke off, you'd slide down and, and then meet to this sort of collar. And likewise, if you're here and it sort of snapped out there, you, you might drop against this collar. Yeah. So you've always got something to catch it, but more than happy on that one. Yeah. No trip line yet. Need your legs and your knees, is it? Yeah, the balance, but it's not the issue. <laughs> Think about the feel of the tree and a lot different than that up there. Yeah. Very different to that. Your a bit more there. Very different to that pine. Alright. Yeah. Cool. Get my position. Hand boom saver's going to go around there. I do prefer, I like this little cliffy one. Definitely going to be better for the camera. Run nice. Yeah, lovely. Yeah. Alright. Lovely. Yep. So always through the gold gold hoop first. Uh, and then the blue. In regards to the gold hoop, you can see it's smaller than the blue. Yeah. The natural size of the eye. So when you're retrieving your rope and a cambium saver from the floor, installing one of these little devices here. You install this into the end of your rope. Just goes through the eye. Yeah. As you pull the rope back through, this catches into the small eye, pulling the whole cambium saver and your rope back down. Yeah. Little toggle, cambium retriever. Right, so if Trev's happy that my main line's in. Yeah, just going to test it on here and lean back a bit, take the weight off. Just not too much, just take the weight off. Just put a bit of weight into that. You happy with that? Yeah. All looks good and tidy, yeah. Gate's done up. Nice. So, all good and secure in there. So I think the best bit of advice that Trevor gave me on my first proper session of training and climbing is climb like you're a kid. If, if everything's installed right, everything's in place, then you should be safe. You should have the confidence to move around the tree the same as what you used to when you were 10 years old and climbing trees and being fearless. Makes things a lot easier, puts you in a good state of mind to be up this high and moving around the tree. Yeah, knowing in the back of your mind that if something will go wrong, you're not going to hit the floor. Yeah. That's just a, a climbing aid. The best thing is what we use with your kids, your arms, your feet, your knees, yeah. and the brain. And like we say, it's not easy. It does, it does take a bit of grunt. But nothing good is ever easy. Well, I don't know. work on the top of this tree now, can't we? We're yeah. up here, right on the tips of the tree. You can access everything. We've got lots of You know, looking around the branches, like to the right down to me, a little sticky branch. That'd be a good one. Putting your, putting your knee into. Yeah, you're putting your foot into if you want to get out there. Or freeze your hands up. Exactly, just locking your knee and your feet against. It's about using all your body. Go back down to the Union, do you think? Go under, or would I go down and through from there? Probably best down and through. Where do you want to go? All right, if I go out that way. Yeah, bring your rope over here. That side, and then we we'll start working out. Yeah. Nice view of the uh, roadies and 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Considering this is the burn pile of it. Sort of lower yourself off and then swing in under that line for you can't you? Yeah. Underneath. Yeah, yeah.